Welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. I'm Shandrea Lee, here to recap the first couple weeks of the men's basketball season and to look ahead at the upcoming week. The Spartans opened their season with a win at Rhode Island, a loss to Seton Hall, and a win over Longwood. NSU also traveled to Connecticut to play in the Hall of Fame tip-off tournament at the Mohegan Sun Arena, where they lost to Loyola, Maryland, and UNKC. The Spartans most recently fell to Eastern Kentucky and Moorhead State. We knew it was going to be tough this year, just because we had to return a lot of games from last year. So it was just a matter of us trying to come together, trying to bring the team and you know, do the best we can on the road. Unfortunately, we had a number of injuries, which have hampered the team a little bit, slowed down our progress. But now I think we're starting to get a little bit of a rhythm, even though we don't have a full complement of players. Playing on the road is tough, and the Spartans have been on the road for seven games straight. Although NSU has struggled some on the road, Coach Evans believes that being away from home has its advantages. Well, just to see him against adversity, because you're in a hostile environment, um, you're not 100%, and then you have, you know, you, you have to gain that momentum, you have to work together to try to get through all of the nonsense that you're going through. Several key players have been in and out of the rotation this season due to injuries, including Jamel Fuentes, who set out three games with a concussion, and Pendarvis Williams, who has a sprain in CL. Without contributions from Fuentes and Williams, other players have had to fill that void. And I think guys have done that. Chris Brown, who's played really well for us the past few games. Uh, Rasheed Gaston has, has stepped up and really played well for us. And then uh, Jordan Weathers, come off the bench, done a good job for us defensively. So that's what we're going to need until we get back 100%. Freshman Rashid Gaston is averaging 8.9 points and 7.6 rebounds for the Spartans. Coach Evans is happy with Gaston's performance so far this season. Well, he's physically ready to play, and he's a good rebounder. And I guess it's translated from high school into college. He's going after every rebound, doing a great job for us. I think he's our leading rebounder right now. So as long as he continues to do that, he'll help us. The Spartans open up MEAC play this weekend at Savannah State, and they will also travel to South Carolina State on Monday. Coach Evans knows that these games will be a test for his team. Well, we have to see where we are. You know, again, we're not 100%, but we can't use that as an excuse. We have to go in there prepared, ready to play, because they're, they're not going to care if our best players are there or not. They're going to come out, try to execute their game plan, and we have to do the same. The Spartans play their home opener on Thursday against St. Francis at 7 p.m. in Joseph Eccles Hall. And then they will travel to Savannah State on Saturday and South Carolina State on Monday. For all your information on your Spartans, visit www.nsuspartans.com.